Isn't it wonderful? As many as 70 million Americans are tuning in to televangelists on their own nationally syndicated TV and a positive image. Give us 300 more people to call on their credit card right now. Then. Tammy Faye Baker comes out singing after her television evangelist husband Jim is found guilty on all... Ladies and gentlemen, we are in North Carolina. You can see uh, the, uh, all the architecture up here, the roller coasters. We are right here at uh, Carowinds Theme Park. Uh, the German Butcher is with me. Uh, Hello, you everybody. You can't see him, of course, but uh, uh, I picked him up this morning. And uh, this is just one of the small little places we just want to see. Um, we haven't been out here, <laughs> what, Ralph, 30 something years? 30 and 35, 30 something years. 30 something, years. something like that. So, I remember the entrance. Uh, I used to work at a place over here. I don't know if the structure's still here or not, but I used to work at a place over here called Outlet Marketplace. And let's see, Carolyn's entrance here. Uh, so I hope we can, uh, I worked all, all through high school at this, at this place, if it's still here. Uh, man, I, this is all so different. Ralph, you remember Outlet Marketplace, don't you? I you do. remember, remember it was like a little strip mall. It was a strip mall. Yeah. And, uh, it looks like it's all, they tore it down it's and built a, a Cabela's. Cabela's over here. Wow. All that is, yep, you would turn in right here, I believe. And this used to be Outlet Marketplace. Yep, they tore it all down. Wow, man. Ain't that, ain't that something? That is. Cabela's, that's an outdoor. It's a, yeah, yeah. I don't think we can get down through there. Yeah, it's some kind of. Yeah, wow, man. Okay, then. I wonder how long this has been here. That'd be interesting to know. My God. Kayaks, motorboats. Oh, man. Because I remember when it used to be out at Marketplace, you know, we would, you'd go out at the stop sign right there and you'd look straight across at Carowinds like we're doing now. And, uh, I still remember the field back here. I still remember that field. It was, they haven't done nothing to that, but I... Joe, stop. I need a new tree stand. A tree stand? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know how we're going to haul that back, but... And then you go back here behind the store. I mean, it looks like the parking lot. Like, they didn't change that. The layout of the parking lot the is still the same. The parking lot's the same, isn't it? They just... Yeah. Build it. <clears throat> they just renovated everything and rebuilt, but yeah. All this back here is... A, Used to be the back entrance when I'd come to work, and it'd be a gated area back here. <clears throat> and um, I remember, uh, Ralph, did you have a seasons pass at Carolyn's? Man, we both did, didn't for, we? For three, four, five seasons. I had it for one. My mom still has my seasons pass, believe it or not. It's from 1985. Did you have the one for? Uh, it was uh, the uh, water park too. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wave. Cause I remember you'd come out and uh, you would go at this other stop signs. You could go all the way across. Yeah, this. Yeah. Mm, so this right here is new. Where they? This is new here. It was never like that before. I when you'd first get here, you could see white lightning. You know the. Oh yeah, the 
They don't have that anymore? Um, I guess not. They say those are dangerous. Anymore. That thing was the shake, wooden cr uh, shake coasters. the crap out of you when you I get done. You have a headache. White Lightning wasn't bad. I tell you what what I couldn't stand was Thunder Road. That's what I mean. Thunder, Thunder Road. Road. White Lightning was the just the one coasters. circle, right? The yeah. one loop or whatever? Yeah. <clears throat> Thunder Road, that's it. Yeah. People are looking at me like, why is he driving all around the park? Like, well, this is the first time I've been here since, since I was a teenager. So now, see, this is how you used to go out back in the day. You'd come out and you'd be looking right at the, you know, Thunder Road, White Lightning, and all that stuff was there. And, yeah. I'm going to tell you, stuff has changed a lot. Yeah, look at there. There's a Cracker Barrel. There's a big sleep-in hotel across from us we're at the stoplight QT. carolyn's is behind us yeah qt everything is growing up ralph's got gps on his phone we got it dialed up for our next location and uh which is really why we come out here and let's miles. turn left onto regent parkway I'll let you know. turn left on what regent park regent park in a, in a mile okay let me get over here See, I remember when I used to come out of here, if I went to Heritage USA, you would veer off to the right down in here somewhere. But it's been so long. It's been so long. My God. Look at all this. I can't believe it. Man, we're old. We're old. We're old, man. You older than I am. <laughs> what, by three months? I mean, four months? Oh, my God. <clears throat> Crazy. So, we are not far <clears throat> from our first turn here, I believe. Still alive. See, when you get further down, man, if you remember... <laughs> now, nah, let's see. Yeah, I used to work... Remember the fish fair? Remember that fish fair. Remember that seafood restaurant? It was small. I used to work there. I bust tables there for a couple of years. And it used to be... It used to be somewhere down in here on the left, but I mean, God, that's so long ago. There's the Burger King, Ralph. There it is. But back then, it was on across the street from McDonald's. Back when we were teenagers, they done moved everything around. Still so, go. Still go. You know, half a mile. And uh, my God, you do remember that, right? I yeah, I remember that. Go past these lights. Then at the next set, turn left. Wow, my GPS don't say that. That's nice. I got the cheap one. I need to upgrade mine. Alright, it says we're going to turn left here. Man. Regent Park. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Is that what I think it is in the distance? Oh, wow. houses man these this money out here buddy Ralph that is it y'all see that tower oh man if you haven't guessed it by now we're making our way to the former Heritage USA theme park and uh we haven't been here since right onto Starlight Drive. since we Let were kids Starlight Drive. Yes. Okay, here we go. And then we got to make a left. Morning Star Fellowship Church, so. And we're going to take a left on the Zenith Avenue. Okay. Zenith. Zenith TVs. Remember those? Zenith appliances. See, look, this is all residents now. People living here. That... You can tell this is the original freaking. There it is, man. Turn around. Sitting there looking at the tower. I bet that person behind me is like, what the hell are you doing? Just a lot of cars, man. <clears throat> you can cut that off now. This is uh oh they got that they got that blocked right there. Look, that was the uh I wonder if we can look. There's people here walking. Look, these they're parked. Oh we can yeah. yeah. We can walk, right? Like, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, What's my the worst God. that can happen, Joe? Somebody say leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna walk over here. Grand ballroom. There sure is a lot of cars over there. There's people that work here. 
Oh, that building? I thought it was. Yeah. Hang on just one second. Folks, here we are at the uh, formerly known as Heritage USA. There's German Butchers with me. What's up, man? Hey. And uh, so this used to be, I, I don't even remember the name of it. It's a big tower that was being built uh, in Heritage USA's heyday. Man, it, Ralph and I came out here a couple times when we were teenagers to look at the Christmas lights and everything else. It was a big deal back then. It was a basketball court. This used to be, that space right there, Ralph, used to be a big castle. Slab. Yeah, it used to be a big castle, and you'd walk out there. I'm trying to get some shots of this building. This is what I really wanted to come see that I've never seen um, close up. I've only seen it on on YouTube. Yeah, this thing is it's been abandoned for many, many years. From what I understand, when Jim Baker got uh, under fire with the law, let's just say, they, um, the uh, building had stopped. I mean, it just it just stopped. The grand ballroom. before they tore it down i guess right yeah there is there's old old stuff online but this right here is what's crazy i can't believe this is still here because a lot of the stuff the metal thing is shoots man is where they drop scraps the workers do i guess so drop down into a dumpster oh okay look the original sign is still here man heritage tower Look at that. Still don't look that old, does it? But it has to be 30 years old, right? Did they just... Look at that. Heritage Tower coming soon. Wow, that's disorienting with the clouds moving. I don't know. Up. It's crazy. It's so wild. Looking through the elements, but there's birds and everything else. It doesn't matter. So crazy, man. Wow. They're at the bottom. The balconies? Yeah, the balconies. Yeah, they're... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's original stuff. That is original stuff. One time they had a they had a huge water park and I want to say over here if we get would be the entrance for the Grand Hotel but yeah there used to be a big water park I don't remember that I just remember we'd come here and ride the tram yeah. remember that the tram and go to different different things that's a, all that stuff's probably gone I'm sure but That is cool. We took a walk, um, Ralph and I, we took a walk uh, by the, what is that called again? The big tower? What would you say it was called? You looked it up. No, I looked up the castle. Oh, oh, I thought you looked at it. But anyway, uh, well, it's amazing how huge that thing is. And um, she said. we just, <laughs> so 
So we're going to try to drive around the property and see if we can see how close we can see some stuff. more stuff because yeah. there's got to be a way you can see some more elements here. We're going to find out. Let's see. I think we're supposed to go in this entrance here. Yeah, we got some original stuff here. And right there. It's a bunkhouse. Uh, yeah, bunk, I don't bunk know. Bunkhouse number those, two. Oh, okay. Bunkhouse number one and two. But what's what blows my mind is this right here is an original tram stop from back in the day. Oh, this, this little building? Yeah, yeah, right here. You would you would go here and wait on the tram. The tram would pick you up. Yeah, all these cabins were up here too, weren't they? Yeah, these are original cabins here. You can see these are... Let's see if I can get a quick zoom here. Yeah, these are, these are original. And, uh... The reason I'm st staying in the car a little bit is we're trying to charge up the drone. I had a, some really good shots and I wasn't recording. So <laughs> by the time uh, I realized I wasn't recording the drone, the battery had gotten below half. So, wow. People living in there, man. I know. I, I what I'm wondering, they're just living in these cabins? And they put a lot of condos and townhomes, I guess, this is what it'd be, but all this used to be See that? nothing. Hmm? Oh, that's the front of that church, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My goodness gracious alive. Hey, I don't know where this takes you, but all this was just a lot of it was empty land and then the water park I think on the other side of that where the castle was like where we're in right now yeah look at this this uh we're right around where the water park used to be we've got to be getting close to the visitor parking well at least they do have visitor parking don't they but We've now made it to the Upper Room Chapel here at the former Heritage USA grounds. And for what I understand, this was, Jim Baker had this design that's supposed to be an exact replica uh, of the building that Christ had his Last Supper, or the Last Supper, so. This is amazing, this is something, I've never seen this. I heard a lot about it. But you can see the um, these statues right here. Right before Christ is going to be crucified. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah, they uh, preserved this. I'm really, really glad they did. I've never seen this. I did hear online that they pipe music through here 24-7.
So this was established July 4th, 1982, moved to its present location, rededicated on December 1st, 2011. How about that? The upper room, Heritage USA. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool, man. That was that was different. That's cool, man. Everything has been. There's so much uh, growth here that's been, well, which is, you know, understandable. It's been what, 25, 30 years. So. Yeah, there's something with this land. Yeah, this is uh, crazy. So, there's a another place right over here we're going to try to look at. That's uh. I think it still is an active campground, but there's um, some stuff there that's a structure that is still original from, um, none of this was here and it was just an active campground. Let's see if we can get to that. This right here, that's a tram stop plus where you could get propane filled up if you had to good when it was heritage was open and people would come all across yeah. the country to be here yeah and bring a camper what the hell are you camping here for uh, that is a great question i don't know i guess people just maybe it's i would think i wonder how expensive it is to camp here on a lot i don't think it'd be too cheap but then again i don't know But this is the original campground. It's just wild to see. Yeah, anything original at this point. At this point is really, yeah, very surprising to see because now that that's a that's an original bathhouse. Yes, the bathhouse. Yeah. Is it open? <laughs> That's an original bathhouse right there. Laundry parking. Short term. We found it. We found we found a, a active bathhouse. Man. Well, we should have known our luck was going to run out sooner or later. <laughs> Here comes Ralph now. We, I was like, man, we got to find some facilities somewhere. They got to have some facilities, all these uh, campers in here. And uh, sure enough, a guy pulled up, pulled a <laughs> golf cart right here. He's an older dude, wasn't he? He said, he said you staying at the park with us? I said, no, sir. <laughs> well, those bathrooms are for guests. <laughs> so, well, I guess you're going to let us use it. <laughs> <laughs> and he went on <laughs> and he's sitting there looking <laughs> I'm like dude <laughs> it's just a bathroom it's a bathroom man, man. we're not trying to break into a camper we're here pull out a grill mm. and we're going to start cooking <laughs> lunch and oh my god a tent <laughs> Sandy Porter that's the that's, road yeah that's that are, the housing developments we're off of right right yeah that's uh, you got to hit that first we're, uh, we're on the way now to go check out our old neighborhood where we grew up Ralph and myself and um, everything has just developed so much, it's hard for us to believe what we're looking at. So, man, it's a, it's wild. It is so crazy. It's just makes you feel old. <laughs> man, this is Sandy Porter Road, and uh, this will eventually lead us to our old subdivision. The sign is really small now, so now it's going to be on our right, right up here. There's going to be like an island when you come in. Did like Daniel was to move across the street or something? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Right here, here we go. This is our old neighborhood, and the first house on the left when you get past this island is my mom and dad's house. Erica Jansen's house. Right there, 
there's nobody there oh my god that's the house i grew up in it's looking rough i don't i guess people are at work or <sighs> that used to be chris lane's house Remember that? Remember that gate wasn't there because we'd run and play football in your yard. So. Yeah, we used to play football. We're going to go down to where Ralph used to live. Which he was just right down the street. Bernard Wilkes. Yeah, he used to live on the corner. Yeah, and, uh, People we went to school with, who we talking about, folks. Linda McCory's house, yep. her and Johnny, were right down in there somewhere. Eric Sneed was down there on the cul-de-sac. Yeah, then there's a circle to the right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ralph, let's see. Man, my old house looks like crap. It looks rough. There's yours right there. Oh, there's people outside. The white with the green door and shutters. Right? Oh, they're they're working on that house, or are they just? Let me take a picture of it, Joe. Yeah, go ahead. Because I'm gonna send it to my parents. Go ahead. Okay. Cool. Well, there's no need in me getting a drone shot. I don't think I'd want to be, to be in this neighborhood used to be a long. Dead end, remember? Then they added on. And it was down here. You remember you'd come down here and you turn left. Well, remember? initially the dead end was right behind, right at the end of Frankie and my house. Okay. We were but then they, then they, they extended, extended it because you would turn here and that's where that chick lived. Redhead. Yeah. Yeah. She lived over here. That one we went to school with. I can't remember her name. But yeah, all that's new down there. Yeah, all that's that's where I get hit by that horse yeah, in that field. You could go this way to Terrigate Farms. <laughs> yeah, you could sneak through and go through Terrigate Farm. You got a horse run you over. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got hit by a horse out in the field back there. We were trespassing, so I got lucky I didn't get killed. That was Eric Schnee's old house right there. Oh boy, I think we're in the wrong neighborhood yeah. now, brother. I, I think we're in the wrong wrong oh, area. Uh, Missy. Oh, Huffman? That was Greg Denton's old house, yeah. No, Missy Neely. Oh, Missy Neely. Oh, okay, I don't remember these people, man. God almighty, this neighborhood is run down. This is horrible. It wasn't like this when we grew up, was it, man? I mean, these houses were new. Brand new. They were nice. They were clean. Holy crap. Where's Linda McCory's... Well, there was that, that, it was a one story, wasn't it? Right here, wasn't it right here? I believe so. Somewhere right in here? It might have been the football dam, but it was a one story. It might have been back that way. Oh, she right. wasn't on the corner here. Oh, okay. There was the bus stop. It was the bus stop right here? I don't remember where. Okay, there's mom and dad's house. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're back up where we started. Yeah, I still remember how to get around, but. Yep. Yeah. Wow. There's mom and dad's old house, boy. I tell you. A lot of, a lot of growing up right there. Ralph and I both. That top right window was my bedroom on the side. Well, wow, man, that was fun. <laughs> uh, shed in the back. Yeah. yeah, my dad. He had that. Yeah, he had that building back put back there, and he kept his riding mower back there. And yeah, the distances like are crazy. It, is, it used to think from here to Terrigate Farm, yeah, it felt like felt like an hour to get to that entrance. It felt like, but as I can see it, yeah, it's just you're a kid, I guess. Everything's the dimensions are different when you get older. Yep. God, that is so crazy. I don't. Mean well, that's it, folks, for our what excursion today. <laughs> our trip yeah. and um it was a lot of fun it was a lot didn't you like it man I going down it, man. Seeing this? I, mean, I know it means a lot more to us than the people that yeah watching, i mean yeah we know that y'all y'all watching are probably like yeah what's the big deal yeah, what's the but <laughs> but uh for us it's where we grew up you know now it's uh the landscape is kind of still the same but it's different and I wouldn't want to live here anymore. I can. I, I think that says enough, right? I mean, there were, were there sidewalks, Joe. I don't remember. No, we, no. We I don't think was, so. We'd have no, on them. There was no sidewalks right back then. It was just. Grass. It was just woods and grass. It was. None of this was developed. Those are new homes, but uh, yeah. But thank y'all for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank the German Butcher, the German Butcher, for tagging along, man. Thank you very much. Uh, it was fun. This made it that much more special, really, because. This has, this I know is, what you're talking this about. This is your history, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, since fifth grade. I mean, come on. Yep. 
So thank y'all for watching. God bless. Keep rocking. Tune in next time to the Joe Show to see what happens next. See ya. Bye-bye.